Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. I am so excited today because I got new stuff in and it's been a while. Not that I'm complaining because I really don't need anything new, but I did get the new Too Faced palette in. The, it is called Appley In Love. And I will say, the packaging is pretty. This is the packaging and it is very, very pretty. It's almost like a snow white type of feel to it even you know what i mean in a way but it's not i love the theming and it says limited edition eyeshadow palette hmm i don't know i don't know but the smell oh you all it is heavenly so this juicy palette is packed with 18 super sweet shades inspired by the fresh colors of real apples. Must have neutrals and pops of reds, greens, and warm caramel in a variety of finishes that let you create, recreate every seasonal trend with a creamy, blendable formula that smells like a caramel apple. And it does just that. It smells so, so good. And I paired it with, um my lip which is by Too Faced it's their pillow top balm which one did I pair this with I was going to go with the red but this is more like a pink red so I didn't think it would work so I went with this one but now I don't know where I even put the lip to because I have everything set now so I can tell you what's on my face because I really think my makeup turned out really good today But I lost the lipstick. Oh, no, I didn't. It's right here. I paired it with this. This is what's on my lips. Cranberry Crush is what is on my lips right now. And perfect. Um, I use the sub... Let me make sure I'm right here with that one. Yeah, Subculture Lip Liner by MAC. And then put that on. For foundation today, I am wearing my Uma Beauty, or Uma by Sharon C. Beauty. I'm going to really miss this foundation. I so love that foundation. Um, for concealer, I'm wearing my Item Beauty Concealer. I'm not going to miss that. It, it's good. It's good. But I'm not going to miss it. I set the whole face with the Peach Perfect, you know. It's a special occasion when I wear this because it is getting kind of low, but it's all right. It's all right. Maybe they'll come back out with it. They'll they'll re bring it back out. People will see. I think that's what they should do. Really, if they're going to discontinue something, go ahead, but then bring it back like in two years or something. Like when the it expires, type of thing. That's what I think anyway. But anyway. Um, for bronzer and blush, we went with the Too Faced Natural Chocolate Golden Cocoa. I hit pan. Well, I've been hitting pan, but it's getting bigger. And I really do like the color of this one. I like the color of this bronzer. It's, it's pretty. And then for the blush, I went with the pink um, Candy Clouds. I think I should have went a little maybe peachy instead of pinkier, but I think it goes okay with this look. But we're not here about this. We're here about this palette. And let me tell you, this is going to go up tomorrow. All right. So in a couple, I film, you know, every day pretty much. And so my looks could get ahead, could, you know, be right on time. There will be a video in the future though. Where, when I just did the A to Z thing, I just want to make it really quick so that y'all know. Of me saying, like, my favorite mid, like, tier, I have, like, four tiers. Like, tier one, affordable drugstore. Tier two, mid-grade. Like, Clinique, the $50 range type of thing, right? Then, a little higher, and then prestige type thing, right? So, there was four range two is where I was at, where I put Too Faced Tarte stuff, and I said Tarte would be my overall favorite of a brand if I had to just pick one to shop from, okay? And I said in the video, though, I had not tried this palette. 
so and Too Faced hasn't really changed their formulas much and it's not that I don't like their formulas but there are better formulas just like there's better than Tarte mm, excuse me but I will say this palette this palette surprised me and I like this palette I like the color story it is different it is it's not a basic neutral peachy pink palette it's not you do have pops in here and the smell alone is enough for me just to go yeah I'm buying another one of these you know and they brought back the tin I I know some people like the cardboard I get it I get it but their tin is where it's at I'm telling you and the formulas in here are chef's kiss let's get started first shade we're gonna go into is core values first off the mats I think they may have done something y'all because they come straight out of the gate with pigment I mean they're not playing at all with the pigment at all like I kind of think they hurt us because and we do have we do have uh, a variety in here we have our mats we have our I guess they would be called what shimmers or satins and then we have our metallics and I do feel like there's a good ratio between them I do oh I use the sweet on you to set the eyes and I actually use the Too Faced shadow insurance today for my eye primer so we'll see how that goes so far so good I really it's an eyeshadow primer you know I think I prefer the stick application to be fair like the Sigma's persuade or um, you know things like that I think I just prefer that better because it's in stick form but as that just a primer itself that's a pretty good primer it's not bad but look how pigment that is it blended beautifully it's not patchy it's not skipping it's it's doing what it's supposed to be doing you know what more could you ask for now we're going to go into so snackable and I am kind of excited about this palette and creating other looks I know right I don't know the last two face palette I played with that I was like I cannot wait to create another actually I can Christmas the uh, the big palette that they came out with for whatever reason I really did like that palette I like the blush the bronzer the highlight like I liked everything in it it was the smell that was just really overwhelming for me it was very piney which I get it it was on theme but it was just a little bit too much for me and it was giving me a headache but the palette itself was really nice and pretty but this one like I see fall I see winter I can even see summer in this palette I don't necessarily see spring but I do see those three seasons for sure and yeah I definitely see more fall and winter in it but I think they did a really good job on this palette I'm not gonna lie I'm really not and I'm shocked I am I really am we're gonna take the shade candy apple right here and run it under the lower lash line like I can't get over the pigment of the mattes I really can't but they're not too pigmented to where you're not gonna be able to you know use them and I am kinda glad I started off with that first shade the lighter shade because I'll be honest I went in very heavy-handed I just assumed 
it was going to be like other Tarte palettes. You know, I didn't think for a second they changed their formulas. And I am so glad I, uh, it was a lighter shade. And it was easy to blend out, so that was a good thing too. As far as formulas, do I like Too Faced better than Tarte? Ooh, I don't know about that one now. We're going to go into Bite Me, which is a satin shade here. And we'll put that on the lid. I didn't get any fallout from any of these shades. But, I mean, that's a satin. And generally, their satins aren't really... You know, you got to really build them up or spray them or something. And I'm just using a brush and it's giving me a lot of oomph. So I do think they've, they've upped the game. I really do. And I'm so glad. Because I don't want to see any brand fail, you know. back into that first shade I mean it's just so pretty and like I said I want to play with this again and is it that it's because it's new yeah is it because it's been a while since I went shopping for a palette Again, yeah. But is it because it's pretty? Absolutely. Now we're going to take the shade Smitten right here. And it's a metallic. And we're going to put it right in the inner corner. And that is what I am talking about. Look at that. I mean, it's just... I am just so happy. So happy, y'all. They're back. They are, they are back. I mean, they never really went anywhere. I'm taking the Tarte Fake Awake for the waterline. But I will say, I do think that they wholeheartedly brought their A game to this. Okay, now we're going to go into the shade Sweetie Pie. And I think it's like another metallic shade also because it looks different than the satin. But it is a pink. And I'm just going to put it right in the middle to get a little more oomph on my lid. For when the light hits it. And it is laying nicely on my lid. I mean, it's just so pretty, you all. That's all I can say is it's just so pretty. Alright, I'm going to take my um, Armani Mascara for the top lashes. Like, everything I've been wanting out of Too Faced, they just did. They gave me back my tin packaging. They upped their formula game. The smell is not overpowering, but you can definitely smell it, and it smells amazing. The theming is cute, but not offensive. I just think they nailed this collection. I really truly do. But I'm curious. Do you think they did? I mean, we're all different. We all have personal, you know, 
things we like or dislike and you know you may have been that one that really was so happy they came out with um the cardboard packaging you know but or maybe you like the formula their old formula you know i don't know but let me know your thoughts on it and let me know if you've picked it up or if you're still on the fence are you waiting for a sale like let me know i'm curious I personally think I purchased this with my own money. And I am so glad I did. Because I'll be honest, I almost thought about skipping it. I really did. And isn't it funny that the ones you're like almost thinking about skipping and you end up getting are the ones that you're just like head over heels for? Where the ones that you thought you knew you had to have it, you're like, mm, I could have saved my money. You know, the packaging is just stunning. I mean, there's nothing. The mirror, that's great. I mean... I think you're going to get beautiful looks. It's got a variety of different looks you can go for. I mean, the description says it all. You got some color. You got some neutrals. It, it's appled. I mean, I'm so glad you guys are back. No. Really, though, seriously, I am glad. I don't want to see them go under. They have a lot of products that I enjoy. These are these hangover pillow bombs I cannot tell you how many of these I have purchased I would be devastated if Too Faced was ever going to go out of business because I don't know what I would do without these there is to me nothing on the market like this there's just not I have not felt a lip balm feel like that and in the formula that it's in I mean, there's other formulas that I like. Don't get me wrong. Lawless being one. But I still wouldn't want to give this up. Like, those are the two that, you know. But you get what I'm saying. They've got certain things. I need them to bring back their Peach Perfect powder now. I think we need to sign something, a petition for that to come back. I think they need to stay on this route right here. And is there anything else? No, I think other than that, Too Faced is doing pretty good. I like their blushes. They could come out with other colors, maybe. Maybe different bronzers, too. Well, they did come out with the liquid bronzers, so... Mm, I don't know. Let me know. But let me know your thoughts on this palette and what you're thinking of it. Because at first, I was like, mm, but it's, it's good. It really is. So, I will let you go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I upload. I upload every day but Sunday, unless there's a new launch, which there will be. I have a palette for Sunday, so keep that open. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Um, take care. Stay safe. Bye.